Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Monday, and it is early. It's, well, it's not too early, but it's early for the summer. It's 927, <laughs> and I have lots of errands to run. I've already warned the kids. Matter of fact, I texted a list of all the places that we have to go to Brooke, so she would just get prepared, um, which we kind of like that some days, just to ride around and do all kinds of stuff, but um I was getting ready this morning and there was two things I wanted to show you. One is this lipstick. This is that Matte Envy lipstick, the coral one. And now I can't remember the name. I knew I wouldn't forget it. It's the, the really bright coral one. And I have it on with, if you wanted to keep it really, really bright, brighter than it is already, then you could put a coral, you know, lip liner on with it. But I put on, I think, Makeup Forever 2C. It was something, I tried several different ones, like some nude ones, and it was hard for to find something that wasn't too brown or wasn't too pink. And this seemed perfect to just calm it down just a little bit. And so I wanted to show you this lip color because you don't see me in a bright lip color very much unless you follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I do. And um, I was thinking, this is just how I put my hair up when I do my makeup and I, sometimes I end up wearing it this way but last night I um, we went to the beach yesterday just for a little bit and we came home and I took a shower and I just brushed it put some spray conditioner in it brushed it straight and let it dry naturally and I wanted you just to see something interesting um, all around my head I showed John and he thought it was neat so I thought I'd show you you can see from here to here is Olaplex at the time that I have used Olaplex on my hair. So you can see from here down, and you could really see it last night when it was drying. You know how more damaged hair dries quicker? So this was all drying much quicker than this up here. Now I've slept on it, and so you can see, but you can see just how much shinier the hair is. And then when it gets down here, it just gets more fragile and everything so it's kind of like um you know the girls that let their roots just grow and grow i always admire people that can do that i've never been one that could do that but so that's how this is going to be hopefully my roots will just grow and grow until you know all the way down here is healthy hair and so um what i do when i put it up is i just take it like that i usually try to I, you can't think about it too much or else it won't do right you have to kind of just take it and then what I do is twist it and then put it, kind of tuck it back in. And then um, just take one of these clips. <laughs> that one's a little bit tighter than usual. That's why you can't think about it because it ends up being too fixed looking. But it'll fall out. So it's raining today. So I probably won't. I'll probably just leave it like this. And I really, I thought about last night. I thought, I'm going to put my hair out tomorrow. I'm really going to get not really dressed up but I was planning on wearing like a dress and just some kind of good shoes but I threw on this just little old navy dress and I've got on my black flip-flops because it is pouring down rain it's actually been thundering all morning and um, so I'll just be running around I don't think it's worth doing an outfit of the day but um, I thought I would also give you some updates on some things that I have been using let me see let me um, zoom in a little bit if I can this is the mascara, the Stila mascara. It is really good. It is very clumpy though. If you, like when you take it out, it's one of those that when you take it out of the tube, it barely has a stopper, but it really gives you good, thick, you know, banging lashes, you know what I mean? Like really thick um, statement lashes. And the brow product, I've been loving it. It's perfect. I'm so glad I didn't get I don't think I would like it as much if I had gotten the brunette. I think I really like the blonde because it really doesn't add that much. And then today, I used my Makeup Forever, the new Ultra HD 127 foundation with the MAC Studio Fix. Um, I went back to see, you know, if I still liked this as much. So it's definitely a different look. It's not as brightening. I think the... Definitely, the Marc Jacobs is more of a yellow tone. If you get the 33, be warned that it is very yellow. I wouldn't mind getting... The only thing is, I don't think they really... I had to look on their website again. I think it goes yellow, peach, pink. And I'd really like just one that's real neutral. 
but I have to look again. But usually by the time I put my powder and stuff on it, it neutralizes out some. And I think the Too Faced Born With It, or Born This Way, <laughs> I always do that. Born This Way is maybe a tad um, more of a yellowy tone than this one. So I think that's maybe why I like the two of them mixed. And I had several of you ask me which one you like that I like best. If you, if coverage is a real important factor for you, there's no, hands down, you need to get the Marc Jacobs. It has the best coverage. Um, if a realistic, um, non-makeup-y, kind of natural, more natural look is most important to you, I would say the Makeup Forever. And then the Born This Way, I would say is more of a kind of in between, kind of in between those two. It's um, kind of a creamy, um, it's borderline, I would say, not the best one for oily skin. I've noticed that when I do wear the Born This Way, it um, I do have to blot it at the end of the day, but that's no big deal for me. But if it is for you, maybe you might want to stick with the, um, with the other two. But anyway, so it's been nice having, you know, three good ones to choose from. So, um, is that all my updates? Um, for accessories, I just have on a pair of my Sheila Fajal, just, I think these are the Double Joy um, earrings, the large Double Joy. Um, I have on the Jackie ring, which is onyx and pearl, and I like it because it's um, adjustable. So I can, if I wanted to wear it my middle finger, I could, but I've enjoyed wearing it on my ring finger. And then my nail polish is, um, I think it's Pool Party. Yes, it's China Glaze Pool Party. I knew I was going to wear this lipstick today, so I thought, and I, fit, I thought I was going to wear a black dress, but anyway, this goes with it fine. So that's what I've got on. And then my um, In God We Trust bar necklace from And I Oliver. just looked over and saw this. I brought this upstairs, so I could decide. I don't know. I can't decide. I think I want to use this in my purse, but anyway, I just wanted to look at it. And I went to go order the other I think the last thing that's left in the kit that I didn't get, and it's got the same picture on it, the bronze, Film Star Bronze and Glow, so I don't think I'm going to get that. I think I'm just going to let that one slide since it has the same picture as that one. And then there's just one more bag or something, like a, I can't remember, some other bag. But anyway, so still loving all the things. Um, today I did use the serum, you know, concealer from Sephora. So far, so good, but let me still get back with you on that. Let me see how it does today, because I haven't really paid as much attention to that. So, I hope you guys have a good week, and I will be back this week. I have a little bit more of a quiet week this week. This week, I'm going to try to take all. I just made an appointment for Bridgie to go to the groomers tomorrow and get her nails clipped, her teeth brushed, and a bath, and I'm going to try to take all the kitties to the vet and get them updated on everything. So, um, it's going to be kind of a low-key week, and I would love to get st back started on my cleaning out my closet. So, anyway, have a good day and a good week, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.